we would talk about a specific uh, instance of a factory pattern called the factory method so uh, we'll do a change here and we'll look at a piece of code to understand it better so what you're looking on the screen is a simple example of a factory method so you have a person factory so this is the entire code highlighted so you have a person factory where there's a get person method and it's expect, accepting a parameter called gender based on the value of gender where if the gender is m it's creating a male object else it's creating a female object so all the creation the instantiation logic for the male and female for the person object is present inside this particular factory what this helps is in reuse of it so once i have a factory i can use it anyway to create different persons i can have male female uh, different uh, like uh, later if i want to add uh, more stuff uh, i mean <laughs> uh, yeah so if you uh, in other circumstances where you have different varieties of things to be created this helps you in making it uh, much more extensible and also the other important thing is the user of the get person method doesn't know that there's an ex male class or a female class present he only knows about the person class so whoever whichever method calls the get person method knows that there's something called a person class but it doesn't know the existence of a male and a female so you can even hide the existence of certain classes and in there so the factory pattern is this factory method pattern helps us to create a instance of a single family of objects and can separate the instantiation and also it can separate the existence of this object so that tomorrow i want to change this male object to something else i want to create a new class i can do that without affecting the other methods which are using this so that's the factory pattern factory method pattern